Hello Star Recruits! Welcome to the Plus Size Talent Academy. This is your instructor, Arcidiva. Now, this is your first lesson in a series of eight lessons designed to turn you into the ultimate fashionista. At the end of these eight lessons, you should be able to have a better definition of your style and to optimize your wardrobe and just to be the ultimate, fiercest fashionista that you can ever be. Now, get ready, grab your notebook and a pen, and join me for lesson one, defining your okay, style. Okay, first topic, let's know the difference between fashion, trends, and style. Now, fashion is what influential designers, usually those who create very expensive pieces and are on runways, um, international designers, those are the people who really define what fashion is. Fashion is constantly changing. One season, black may be in. Another season, black is not cool. Or one season, stripes is in. And another season, oh, it's um, florals in. And stripes are out. So true style is a unique personal expression. These are pieces of clothing that incorporates your imagination and expresses your emotion and tell people who you are. It's usually very constant unless you have multiple personalities <laughs> or you're just someone who just likes to change things up a lot. And I do that myself. Like I really love to change my hair up. You guys have seen me with an afro. Now I'm rocking like this 26 inch length wig. I, I do a lot with my style. I just love to change it up. There are just so many amazing looks out there that I really cannot stick to just one boring look all the time. However, the basis of my style is still the same. Okay, trends are the latest items that are in season. For instance, items that are in season now are the power shoulder blazers, um, peplum is in, um, a lot of embellished stuff is in. These are, you could say, fashion pieces that really just change like just drastically every season or even before the season ends. It's not really um, defined by designers. It's defined by uh, usually a famous person's personal style. You spot a person wearing this very unique item then all of a sudden it becomes a trend. So trends can be revisited. They change constantly. For instance, I remember in around 2009, 2008-2009, colored jeans were in and I had like a couple pairs of colored jeans and then afterwards like colored jeans were not cool again and I threw my colored jeans out. Now I really want my colored jeans back <laughs> because colored jeans are in trend again after four or four or five years. So these are items that you will keep in your wardrobe because you can revisit it. But it's not they're not items that you'll be wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. So if I would invest in a piece of clothing, it would have to be a versatile piece that I can, you know, layer up and you know I love layering year round. And it will be like a staple piece in my wardrobe or a basic item that I can get a lot of wear out of. So I do not invest a lot of money in trendy items. Trends usually end when someone realizes that, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, it must stop. And then the trend ends because some person, some influential person thinks it's whack and so it's out. 
the see it's not very streamlined on how trends get chosen it's just very random it's just a random um, way of like I don't know incorporating unique items into people's personal styles trends and I love trends however with trends I always suggest that you know you make sure that that trend matches your own personal style for instance some people I mean they probably wouldn't like studied items or for another person the peplum does not fit your body shape so you probably wouldn't be wearing those in trend items because they don't fit your personality or they don't fit your body type so not every trend is for everyone however I do say to personally try out the trends it doesn't I mean Usually the trendy items are very inexpensive. You can find inexpensive replicas of really expensive trendy pieces. A great place to find trendy items for plus size females and males is Forever 21 Plus. The reality is that we all have a style. Whether you think that you're a stylish person or whether you think you have no style at all, the fact is that we do have a style. The difference is that some styles are more defined than other styles. So the key to optimizing your style and to presenting the best you to the world is by defining your style. And I'll tell you how to do so. Get ready to record the notes. So say you have a lot of skirts. If they're mostly full and pleated skirts, you probably have a more ladylike style. Think of like a hand at the way look. Or if they're more long and kind of hippie-ish, you're probably more bohemian like Josh Stone. So do you have lots of ruffles and floral prints? Then you may have a more feminine style. Think of someone like Sarah Jessica Parker. So are you mostly a jeans and pants person? If you are, then you probably have a more laid back, kind of California cruising style. Think of someone like Jennifer Aniston. Or if you're like me, you have a little bit of everything in your closet, then you may be a Lindsay Lohan type of person. Well, not person, but um, style. <laughs> Nobody wants to be like Lindsay Lohan, but <laughs> sorry. Um, topic number two, think of your favorite outfits. Now for this one, you may need to scan through some snapshots of photos. So zoom in on your favorite photos and try to pick out why those photos appeal to you more. What piece of clothing made it your favorite? What colors made it your favorite? Were there prints involved? Was it the cut and style? And really, did it make you feel good about yourself? And does it flatter the features that you love and draw less attention to the ones you're currently working on? So take note of every single detail of that outfit, your accessories, your pocketbook, your earrings, your rings. These colors and shapes and style is what define you. So shop for similarly flattering pieces when you go out to the mall next. Okay, topic number three, what were you wearing the last time someone paid you a big compliment? Now, more than likely, if someone paid you a big compliment, you probably felt great about the outfit that you were in. So the next time you go shopping, look for pieces similar to those that flatter you, that makes you feel good about yourself. Look for similar prints, cuts, shapes, and even attitude. Topic number four, when you shop, what is your eyes gravitated to? What are you drawn to? The next time that you're just out browsing your favorite store or the mall, pay attention to the items that just captivate you. 
what type of fabrics do you reach out to touch? Do you reach out to touch more cotton fabrics? Then if you do, you may have a more classic style. If you're always trying on big, slouchy, oversized, kind of off the shoulder tops or looks, then you probably have a more bohemian style. And like me, if you love ripped the jeans, then you probably have a little rebel in you. And if you like velvet more than a corduroy, then you're more a glamorous style than a sporty style. If you like more one-of-a-kind, out there, outrageous fashion pieces, prints and colors, combinations that just are out of this world, then you're a true style original. And those are the people that I love to look at. Lesson number five, whose style do you admire the most? Now, it's okay to take style hints and tips from people around us and from celebrities. Now, if you're just browsing through your favorite magazines, which celebrities always stick out to you? For instance, like, do you like your jeans tucked in your boots? Someone who always does that is Sahara. I also love Sahara's style. So you could take hints and tips from celebrities. The issue arises is when you start just copying their styles and not incorporating any of your personality in your styles. Try to be original. Last but not least, topic number six, keep a fashion scrapbook. I know this sounds middle school, but it really works. If you're a person having a difficult time defining your style, get pictures from your cosmos, from your in styles. Cut them out and paste them in a scrapbook. Now, you'll start noticing trends. If you find that more glamorous red carpet looks are appearing, then you're probably a more glamorous, sophisticated dresser. So if you're someone that wears jeans a lot and you see all these glamorous looks showing up in your scrapbook, then you'll say, okay, maybe I should try a skirt the next time around than just, you know, my jeans because, you know, it your jeans just may be a fad or a trend that is passing by while your true underlying style or a style that appeals to you and your personality is more of a glamorous trend. And vice versa, if you're someone who is a glamorous dresser and you know, the looks that you pick out are more edgy, like kind of street, urban looks then you're probably more an urban dresser. So you'll start not noticing trends over a period of time. And you'll definitely get a more streamlined definition of your style. Okay, style recruits, that concludes our first lesson, defining your style. Now stay tuned for upcoming lesson two, Body Basics, which will cover issues such as knowing your shape, and learning how to dress to accentuate your features. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and remember, honeys, to watch that divitude. Bye!